Yeah, All right, y'all, back here with that Cornelius Catfish channel. I got Boss Lady right here. We got a, I went out this morning, y'all, I got three rabbits. My daddy used to take me to his little, my daddy had a little spot where he had some, a nice little bed where they had rabbits at. So I went out this morning with my high power pellet gun. I just got three rabbits. We trying to do up some rabbit stew, a real quick catch, clean and cook. So stick with me, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna show y'all just a little bit of how I do it, but I ain't gonna let y'all sit here the whole time. I'm just gonna show y'all a little bit of my tricks and stuff, so stick with me. But, um, I'm gonna say right here, I got this pot right here. I got some just some fresh clean water. Got my vinegar, white vinegar. I'm gonna put some vinegar in there. Let's go take. I'm getting that wild. I'm getting that wild game taste out while I'm cleaning it at the Mine same time. Put some salt. Put some regular salt down in that water. Okay. Now once I get the meat off of the off the rabbit, I'm gonna hurry up and drop it in that salt and vinegar water so it can get to taking that gamey taste out. So stick with me. Okay, now for everybody watching, I'm just going to show y'all a little bit. I ain't going to have y'all sit here the whole time. I don't want the guts and all that to be on camera because I don't want to get demonetized. So stick with me. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of how I clean my rabbit. Okay, so right here, y'all. I'm just going to get that skin. I'm going to start at the back of them. Get that skin. Mommy. Get that skin loose. Take that knife straight through that skin. Now you see, see it open up right there. Now you just wanna take your time, take your time and work on around it. Just get the hair off, that's it. So all we doing right now, we just de-hairing it. That's it. All right, y'all back here with the Cornelius Catfish channel. I'm finna put on this, uh, this rabbit gumbo. So right now I got my roux going. I just wanted y'all to see right quick. I ain't want y'all to stay here the whole time while I was doing the root. But I got the root coming to a nice brown, nice brown color. I basically just put a half a cup of oil and a half a cup of flour. And I got it going, got my root going, so I'm just going to whip it. And when I get it to the color that I want it to be, I'll be back with y'all. So hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Stick with us. Okay, y'all, I just got back. I want y'all to see I got my root to a nice brown consistent where y'all can see. Real nice and brown, looking real good. I cut the eye off. I cut the eye off so it won't burn my root. I'm trying not to burn my root. I only did it one time and I only want to do it one time. So I'm gonna go keep it stirring. I'm just going to add a little bit of my onions and a little bit of my bell peppers. Just a little bit, not too much. And just a little bit to get in that root. Okay, now that's it. Grab me some of these onions. Throw them up in there. Get a little bit of these bell peppers. Okay. I'm going to see that right quick. I'm going to cook these on down. So I'm going to lift it all up off the eye. Sit it right here. Sit it up off that eye, y'all. Take it up off that eye. Right now, I'm just letting my veggies cook down in that root. I'm letting all these veggies cook in that root. And then I'm going to get my rabbit. I'm going to get my rabbit going. I'm going to let y'all see that. Let this cook up. See everything, I took it off so I don't want it to burn. Do it real good. Everything real nice. Telling y'all watch that root. Take y'all time with that root because it will burn. Y'all see that root is real nice and dark. 
is gonna be rabbit gumbo. Mama and the kids, they love my rabbit gumbo, so I'm whipping it up so y'all can see it. Okay, nice and chocolatey. So I'm gonna set that, let that sit right there. Let that bubble up with them veggies in there. And let me set this on my plate. Set that on my plate. Okay, now everybody I got right here, got my little pot that my roux, I mean my rabbit is gonna go in. So right now, I want everybody to see, look down in there, I'll put a half a stick of butter, put a half a stick of butter down in that pot. I'm finna let that, finna let that butter melt up and I'll be right back at y'all in a second. All right, y'all back here with the Courtney's Catfish Channel. I just want y'all to see, I put a little bit of seasonings on my rabbit. These are just the legs and the back straps. I got my butter, my half a stick of butter down in there. I put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to get that butter all mixed up and loose up in there. Now I'm going to get to dropping some of these down, these legs down in there. Nice. Let them fry up a little bit. We're going to let it fry up a little bit. Then we're going to get to dropping everything else. Line up real nice. Back straps. Front legs. Front legs. Everybody go get us some of them legs. Front legs. I'm gonna tear it up. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna show y'all this rabbit. This rabbit gumbo. Hope y'all try it. Knowing some people out there saying, man, we don't even eat rabbit. Might be time to try something new, man. That COVID coming, you never know what's gonna happen. Rest of my little season in my rabbit juice. Drip it down over that. Let it go and cook up. But now in there, gonna let that rabbit meat cook up a little bit. And I'm going to get to throwing all my other stuff in, all my other ingredients in there. Stick with me. I'm going to let this rabbit cook up a little bit down there in that pot. Then I'm going to get to putting all my sausages. See, I got sausage. I got onion. I got bell peppers. I got jalapeno. I got celery. I got some potatoes. I got some... Um, I got some tomatoes. These are Rotel. I got a Rotel. Then I got just some diced up tomatoes. And then I'm going to throw my um, cream of mushroom in there. I'm going to put my seasonings in there as I go. All right, y'all back here with the Courtney's Catfish Channel. I just want y'all to see. Uh, take it off of that eye so it won't be steaming too bad. I just cooked it real nice. A little bit. Just to get it up. Just to get it. Fry it up and get the, the rabbit started because the rabbit real tough. You want it to start loosening up already before you get everything else in there. I'm gonna let it sit. Now I got here, I got my sausages, my smoked sausages. With the dumping those babies in here, this one whole smoked sausage. Dump him down in there. Dump that down in there. Uh -huh. Gotta whip it up a little bit. Gotta whip it up a little bit. Move it around. And I'm really, I'm finna get to filling it up with water. Finna get to filling my pot up with water so it can get to boil. I need it to come to a boil now. I need my water in there and let it start boiling so I can get to throwing all my veggies and get my roux on top. So stick with us. I just wanted y'all to see the rabbit while it's almost cooked. It's not all the way done cooked, just halfway cooked. So we can just start the cooking process for the rabbit. Look down in there. It's nice. It ain't all the way cooked. It's just nice and brown with that seasoning on there. If y'all can see real good, I hope the steam ain't too much. 
I'm gonna let that cook up a little bit more down in there. Once these sausages get to frying up a little bit, we'll be back with y'all and we'll get to dumping that water in there. All right, y'all back here with the Courtney's Catfish Channel. I just put my polishes in here. Now I'm gonna come with my chicken. These are um, chicken breasts, unboned, with no bones in them. So I just cut them up to nice little squares. Nice little squares. So I got, I got a uh, rabbit, I got chicken, and I got a uh, smoked sausage in there. Try to see real quick. Get this down on top. Get that up on top. Okay, got my chicken down in there. I'm going to do the end of my meat process. Let me get this stirred up real good. Now, if everybody watching, I got my eye down low on like five or six. It's not up real high. I'm just getting the meat a little bit cooked. That's it. I'm not cooking it all the way, just a little bit. And then I'm going to get them seasonings. Get all my veggies in there. Let it all boil down. See that? Got Polish, got that chicken, got that rabbit. I'm going to let that cook for a second. Top it off. I'm going to let that chicken, them squares of that chicken get nice and tough. Then I'm going to come back. Get to dropping everything else down in here. Alright y'all. I just put the water into my into my meats. So I got my my rabbit and my chicken and I got my smoked sausage. I want y'all to see what it looked like. Look down in there, check her, check her out. This is basically just my my meats. With a little bit of seasoning, the meats had cooked up. They fried up just halfway. So now they're going to finish in the gumbo. We're going to let everything finish up until the gumbo. We're going to get this to a nice good boil. I'm finna start. I'm finna start putting stuff in there. I ain't going to wait until it get all the way to boil. I'm gonna just get to put my stuff in there. So I might, I'm gonna start with my seasonings. We're gonna start with the seasoning, get the seasoning on there. Then I'm gonna come with my veggies and all that and get that in there. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Y'all here with the Courtney's Catfish. Okay, so right now I'm going my Creole season. I'm not going too heavy, it's cause this is spicy. Just a real light touch. This this that ancestor seasoning right here, y'all. They tap me on the shoulder, tell you when to stop. You know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go with my garlic powder. Garlic powder, just a real light touch. Just to get that garlic powder in there. You see? My onion powder. Get that on in there. All uh, layered across the top, a little nice layer across the top. That's it. Ain't gonna lie to you. My basil leaves, just a light dab. We're gonna do like one or two dabs. Two dabs, two little dabs. Okay, my chopped red peppers, just a little touch. A little touch of that chop. That's it. Okay, y'all. Now I'm gonna hit it with that A1, that A1 original steak sauce. Shake, yeah, shake that steak sauce up for you. Shake that steak sauce up. Put a little bit of that A1 in there. Yeah. It's for that gumbo, y'all. But you use that steak sauce for that gumbo. Okay, oh man, my Obey, Obey seasoning, get that in there, this is a gumbo, 
when you use that, when you cooking a gumbo, you always use that old bait. Use that seafood cook like, use that seafood season. And drop that old bait down in there. My black pepper. Y'all can see that. Got my black pepper right there. The kids in there messing with my stuff. That black pepper all on there. Nice and seasoned up. Put a bay leaf. Drop a bay leaf down on there. Just need one bay leaf, y'all. I'm just going to use one single bay leaf. Drop that in there. Okay. With my brown sugar. My barbecue rub. A little touch of that. Just a little touch. You don't need too much. See, that's that gumbo, y'all. So you want that good seasoning. You want it seasoned real good. Okay, I think that's about everything. All of my seasonings. I got one more seasoning. Hold on. A little bit of that bud wash. Don't tell nobody. Crack that bud wash open and you put a little bit in there. Put a little bit of bud wash in there. Now I'm going to go over with some Red Hot Original. Just a little couple dabs. It's a, You just use that Red Hot as how y'all like it. How the household like it. And you just tap it in there. Couple taps. That's it. That's it. The end of that. Okay, now y'all gonna start putting my potatoes. These are some chopped up potatoes. I just dice them up nice to some nice little pieces. We'll drop those babies down in there. Go slow, y'all. Don't splash yourself. That's it. Go real slow. That's it. That's all you got to do. Put the potatoes down in there. Damn! Potatoes in there. Alright, these right here, y'all. These are the jalapeno peppers. Good. They going in there. Fat. Sir, jalapeno. Okay, there's my chopped red peppers. Just slide them down in there. Bye. My green peppers, my green bell peppers. We'll drop them down in there. Now I got here, this is a whole chopped red onion purple onion, whatever, it's going in a whole onion, one whole onion, chopped up real nice and fine, real nice, okay, set that to the side, I got my celery, it's like four stalks of celery, four stalks of celery, I got some of them little stalks in the middle with the leaves on there and I chop those up into there too. Just drop that down. That's that celery. Celery leaves too. Got all my seasonings in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my cream of mushroom. I'm gonna drop that down in there. Yeah. And get this get this stuff whipped up real quick. Get everything whipped up. Get everything whipped up down in that pot. Now we're gonna let this sit, y'all. We're gonna probably let this sit here for probably three to four hours.
This is going to sit for three to four hours. We'll let it boil. It's going to break down all that chicken. It's going to break down all them rabbit legs. And we're going to tear it up. I'm going to put that roux in here in a minute. Let it all get to coming together. Got that roux sitting right there. It's nice. Ready to go in that. Ready to go in that gumbo. Right now, y'all, I'm just whipping that gumbo up. Getting all my seasonings whipped up into there. Get everything whipped up. I'm talking about I'm whipping it good down in there. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Looking good. Got my tomatoes down in there. Don't forget y'all tomatoes. This the Rotel one. I'm going to drop my regular diced tomatoes. And I like, like this going to splash. So I'm going to catch it. We'll catch that. We don't want to splash on it. Okay, now I'm going to go in my room. And that's going to be the end of that. I want y'all to know. I got a lot of water in here because I'm going to let this boil down for hours. I want y'all to know. We're going to let this boil down. We're going to get our rice going. Once that rice get on, y'all know what time it is. Time to eat. I went out, got them groceries, got them rabbits for y'all. Y'all ain't get to see that because mama don't like to go when I go rabbit hunting. So, I really appreciate y'all for sticking with us, man. Bring y'all a lot of good stuff, man. Bring y'all a lot of good stuff. So, stick with us. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Finna get this root down in here. And we gonna let this baby boil up. Everybody probably get in the tub, and then we'll get back to y'all when it's done. So let me get my roux. Grab this roux. Now I want y'all to see my roux, y'all. Now I want y'all to see this roux. I want, look, it's real dark. It's, it's like a chocolate. It's basically like a chocolate substance. So we'll get that going in there. Spare room. Spare room. Oh man, this smells so good in here, y'all. Got that roux going. Let me just do it like that. up together got that ruin now y'all oh my god it's gonna be going down over here y'all according to this catfish stuff look at that gumbo y'all this that rabbit gumbo got my ruin there got my veggies got my rabbit got my sausages Got everything going in that thing. We'll cut her down a little bit. And let me get her on up to a boil. I'm gonna get her on up to a boil, and then I'm gonna cut her back down. Let me just go doctor up on this baby. Keep it going for a minute. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Finna get this rabbit gumbo going. And I'll be back to show y'all what it looked like here in a little bit. Check it out. Remember what it looked like. And when I come back, y'all go see what it looked like. Okay, y'all back here with the Cornelius Catfish Channel. I want y'all to just see. I got the uh the gumbo. The rabbit gumbo is boiling up real good. So I want y'all to see I just took the meat out right here. 
This is the last little couple pieces of the legs. I'm just deboning it. I'm just deboning it right there with two forks. Real quick, take them bones out that meat. And I'm gonna get all this meat back into the gumbo. It's all still boiling over there. Got everything still rolling. I just got a tub. We all jumped in the tub real quick. So stick with us. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Mama finna get the rice on. So we're gonna have the rice on here in a little bit. These the last little two pieces of the legs. Just deboning that stuff real quick. Making sure there ain't no bones in that. Real fast, knocking it out. I want y'all to see I don't let this, I don't let the gumbo boil up for probably not like, it been about two and a half hours. So the meat is real nice and tender. Let me look over here, grab more. Mess with this side a little bit. I already deboned this stuff. But I didn't shred it. I just was in a rush. So I can get it all ready. So we can sit down and eat here in a minute. Yeah, y'all. So I just dumped all that meat back in there. Real quick. And I slowed the boil back down. Go get it stirring up. Get it all stirred back up. I want y'all to know when um now I done let it cook for two and a half hours. I took my bay leaf. I took my bay leaf out. Took it out. Took it out of that. Uh, took it out of my gumbo. I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna stir this. Mama got this rice on right here, but I'm trying to make, trying to help her out. We're just letting that rice blow up. Let it get out. Make sure it's not all hard. And then we're going to get to eating it up. Hope y'all watching. Y'all can try this out. Y'all ain't got rabbit, just try your regular gumbo. Put that roux, put them veggies. Finna show y'all, man, this stuff's so good. The kids finna sit down, they finna eat it. And it's delicious. Until then, hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'll be back at y'all in a couple minutes. All right, y'all, back here with the Courtney's Catfish Channel. We got everything done. I got the rice right here. I got the gumbo, the rabbit gumbo. I'm gonna show y'all how we make it up real quick. Let y'all see. So when you do that gumbo, you always come with a scoop of rice. Everybody not gonna get rice, y'all, so that's why we ain't got that much. Me and mama probably go get some rice. Everybody else just go want the meat and the gumbo. So this is how I get my gumbo. I have my rice to one side real nice. Real good like that. Take that top off that gumbo. Let y'all see that thing. Put that roux in there. It's real nice. Bubbling up real fine. I don't want to get that meat. Y'all just see me be bone that meat. In there. Daddy. Hold on, boss lady. Here I come. Hope y'all can see everything real good. Boss lady right here on my butt. So I'm trying to hurry up. I do my gumbo. I'm going to get a lot of that gumbo in there. Y'all see all of that? Some of that meat. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all see that? I'm going to give me some of this juice here. Some of that juice. Top it off. Hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, y'all. We finna sit down and eat. 
We appreciate y'all for joining us today. And we'll get back with y'all soon.